Guide to Choosing Formula Milk for Babies Formula milk for babies has different contents. This makes parents need to be careful in choosing the best formula milk and according to the condition of their baby. That way, the baby's nutritional needs can be fulfilled and support their growth and development. Breast milk is the best intake for babies. However, breastfeeding is sometimes not recommended if the mother or baby has certain medical problems. If this is a mother's experience, giving formula milk can be done to help the growth and development of your little one. Selection of formula milk for newborns or those under one year of age may be a challenge for parents. The reason is, babies at that age should not get any intake, including formula milk, because their bodies cannot digest food perfectly. Pay attention to this when choosing formula milk for babies. There are various brands of baby milk to choose from on the market. Here are some things that you should pay attention to and consider in choosing formula milk for babies. 1. Condition of the baby. The first thing you should pay attention to when choosing formula milk for your baby is the health condition of your baby. Babies with special conditions, such as premature babies or low birth weight babies, need special formula milk with extra calories and minerals to meet their nutritional needs. Therefore, if your little one has certain health conditions, you should consult a doctor about giving the right formula milk. Avoid choosing any formula milk. 2. Types of formula milk. The type of formula milk is also important for mother to pay attention to. The, the reason is, there are formula milk products that use whey type protein, casein type protein, or a combination of both. For newborns and under the age of one year, you should choose a cow's formula product that uses whey type protein because it is easier to digest. Mothers can also choose formula milk products that combine the two types of protein. However, remember that the protein composition of whey must be higher than that of casein. Generally, the ratio between whey and casein is around 60-40. This ratio is equivalent to the protein content in breast milk. If you want to apply a vegetarian diet to your little one from an early age, you can use soy milk. However, it is highly recommended to consult a doctor first. 3. Milk content. Basically, all formula milk products consist of a collection of main nutrients, namely protein, carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, and minerals. Even so, mother also needs to consider other ingredients that are no less important, for example arachidonic acid, ARA, and DHA. This compound is included in polyunsaturated fatty acids which are very beneficial for the development of the baby's brain, nervous system and eyes. In addition, also choose formula milk that contains prebiotics, usually in the form of fruto-oligosaccharides FOS, and galacto-oligosaccharides GOS. These prebiotics are able to encourage the development of good bacteria in the baby's digestive system and strengthen their immune system. 4. Possible allergy to cow's milk. What is equally important for mothers to pay attention to in choosing formula milk for babies is the possibility that your little one will experience an allergy to cow's milk, because this is one of the most common allergies in babies. If mother decides to buy regular cow formula milk, Mother can buy milk in small sizes first. After that, monitor whether your little one has an allergic reaction. If there is an allergic reaction, such as skin rash, redness, vomiting, or diarrhea, do not continue giving the formula and consult a doctor immediately. The doctor may suggest formula milk with special formulations, 
such as extensively hydrolyzed milk or amino acid formula. This type of milk is still based on cow's milk, but the protein content has been processed so that it does not cause allergies. In addition, also avoid giving various plant-based milks that are only squeezed from the plants, such as soy milk, rice milk, and almond milk, both to normal babies and babies who have allergies to cow's milk. This is because the nutritional value in this type of milk is not able to meet the nutritional needs of your little one. Tips for introducing babies to formula milk Some babies will refuse to be fed formula because they are used to breast milk. Babies also tend to refuse when given milk through a bottle by their mother. This is because when they are close to the woman who gave birth to them, the baby will expect to be given breast milk. To overcome this, mother can try some of the tips below. Mix breast milk with formula gradually by increasing the amount of formula. Put a few drops of breast milk into the pacifier or warm the pacifier before giving it to your little one so that he is more interested. Use a pacifier that is soft and resembles a nipple to attract your little one's attention. Ask your husband or other family members to help bottle feed your little one so he gets used to formula milk. As good as possible formula milk will not be able to match the benefits of breast milk. However, if mother does not allow exclusive breastfeeding, do not let this situation make mother depressed. Mothers don't need to worry, because formula milk can also help meet the nutritional needs of your little one. The most important thing is to choose formula milk products for babies that have been registered with Palm Reed. If mother is still confused about choosing formula milk that is suitable for her little one, don't hesitate to consult a doctor, okay?